Hey guys, Brock here from Brock Myers, and Happy New Year 2016. Oh my god, Brock. Um, and today I'm going to be doing a final flight of Destiny Bounty. Um, this says very big. Um, it's very nice too. Um, a lot of pieces, like 1,200 and something, I forget. But this is the biggest Ninjago set so far that, you know, not the tower, besides the tower, um, this is the actual set of villains, and the set that comes with the most villains, actually. Now, they made a, a Destiny Bounty in 2012 for the snakes, but then they brought it back, and, um, so this is it. Um, so let's start by getting up to all the minifigures. Alright, so these are all of the ghosts, and, you know, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> these are all the ghosts that come with the Final Five Destiny Bounty. I'm just going to be reviewing all of them at once. So we will start off with Moro. He looks pretty cool. I like his black hair. Um, he has a dark green head. All the other, well, not really, it's just the hair that makes it look dark. But um, he looks really cool. I like how his eyes glow, kind of. Um, his little bandana that he wears. His little um, mask. Um, I like this little, the ghost dragon symbol on him. He has the two green swords and kind of a messed up looking cake, just like a little, you know, it's just basically just messed up. Um, then he has stuff wrapped around his legs and partially green legs right here than the normal ghost. And once again, the awesome two swords. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so that's Moro. Um... Sorry, Skeldor. I think that's what your name is, at least. So now this is Spider, I think. Yeah, Spider. Um, Why is he called Spider? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, if you guys, you know, don't understand what I was just saying, it is a spider. You can probably tell if it's a spider. If you're a moron, I feel bad for you if you did not know that. So here's his head. Here's his face. I like the little mask, and then on the back, it's just green, like the... Just coming through the ghostness. Um, and then green on his shirt and purple on the back, a little ghost symbol. This little rag on it. Like a sword, and here is his torso. I meant his legs. He can walk and fly. Um, now we're going to do a Gultar. Gultar. Alright. So this is Gultar. Um, I like his weapon. I like how they use the green lightsaber piece. Well, it's kind of like a lightsaber piece. Not exactly the same color. It's like a lighter version, but it's kind of like a double Sith or Scythe or whatever you call those. I like these ghosts because they have the ghost tails, which make them look really cool. Oh, you see? See, all these ghost tail guys stand up. Never mind. Um, he's a little sensei hat on top of him. Um... A skull face, as you can see, and his mask again, and then this little armor piece that comes out, um, and then he has the white hands, and that is Gultar. Now we're going to do Soul Archer, which Soul Archer was out in another set, the Master Wu Dragon, which I will be doing a review on that too. And but this time, that time he had um a black bow, a knife. Um, and a ghost tail. So, here's his head. Different mask. And his... I'll just show you his face because it's kind of odd out of the others. He has a little... He looks old. Um. Do that. Um. So he has a little green band around here. Which kind of reminds me of Vitruvius. Or at least his minifigures that he... That we got a long time ago. Here's his bow. Um. Another one of the armor pieces that Gultar had. And... His little legs with little um, bandages wrapped up and stuff. So, and then our final ghost minifigure, not uh, like ghost. These are the screamers. Um, let's see. This is Bansha. Yeah, Bansha. So this is. Her. She looks. She has the girl face. Really easy. Do you have to do this? Um, here's a little mask. Um, I meant not her mask. You know, a little armor plate and nice ghost weapon. And a tail. And the part on the back, right there. So that's Bansha. 
please, Izzy. Hey, we shave her. Um, now the Screamers. These guys are cool. They remind me of Slimer from Ghostbusters. So, one ha they one is like, <clears throat> and the other is like, Ew. um, dynamite, a little blade thing, a banana, and uh, whatever those things are called, the blades. And that is the ghosts. All right, now these are the four good guys of the set. So are Three Ninja and Sensei Wu. Um, we're gonna start off with Nia, and all of them actually come with their hair pieces. Nia's hair, Cole's, and Lloyd's, but you know, Sensei Wu is bald. Um, I like her weapon a lot. It's nice. It's like a little water blade since she is the um, ninja of water. Basically, she has elemental power, and then she has a nice little um, blue, like a light blue, like baby blue, I guess. Over this nice, like, dark red, so it just looks pretty cool. Um, the golden um, katana holder on the back, just a blue strap, and her water sign, which is what was the water sign? Oh, yeah, a little spinning thing. Izzy, please I do stuff. Um, so apparently, she sees something, and then blue on the bottom, and her little. Water symbol on her chest. And, you know, hair. Ooh, don't forget me. Um, next we have coal, which I have a lot of coal. I have three of the same version. It's a lot. Um, let's see. So, what are these? You're going to knock over something. Um, there is a, he has a little gray. He's gray and black. And this little orange piece in the middle. As you see. Um, here's one, here are the weapons. Like his like thing that things that destroy ghosts, um, what are they? They're like deep stone blades, I think is what they're called. Once again, this um, katana holder, and he's actually perfect for a ninja since it's black. And uh, here is Cole's hair. Next we have Lloyd, or the green ninja, who actually gets turned into Ghost Lloyd. If you saw my. Um, attack of the Moro Dragon review. So here's Lloyd. Of course, he's green and black. Like all the new ninja have their color, like that they're like their own little thing, like the red ninja, green ninja, and stuff. And then they have black on it, which makes them look really cool. And then black straps, or gold katana and a black katana. More green and gold straps. A little silver thing in the middle. Two knives. You turn over. Green Ninja symbol is in there, but you can't really see it. I can't even see it from here. Yeah, it's like a dragon, kind of. And black katana holder. So that is Lloyd. And his hair. Which looks nice. And now, the final one. Sensei Wu. Now, I like, I have another version of Sensei Wu, the other one from the other set, the Master Wu Dragon. Um, it has this little gold gemstone at the top, just a little gemstone. Um, a little, it's like a grass piece, which I was thinking about making a bok, Lego bok choy from Plants vs. Zombies 2, this piece. But it's, I have a green one upstairs on a long boa staff. And he has the green cap, or he has the green little um, Sensei hat, kind of like Goltar. But his is purple, you know, gold flowers is. Then, I'm just gonna let Izzy do that. Um, he has a nice white beard, and two white dragons coming out of this little belt part right there. One little thing that makes him look like a caveman, kind of right there. Hooga, 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 hooga. And then you see his, his face, um, gray coming all the way down, and his gray hands. And on the back, it shows two shurikens and a little symbol. Like, I guess a sun symbol or something. And that is all the minifigures. Time to get on to the dragon. Alright, this is the little ghost dragon that comes with the set. Um, he is very big. When I saw the box, I didn't know he was going to be this big. But I mean, like just standing up fully. Let me just get him standing up fully. Look how big that is. It's taller than the whole... Um, the whole... The little, little, little Destiny Bounty. Nuts, man. It can also gear cat. Go. Alright. 
So let's take a look at his face. Kind of like the Moro dragon. He has the red um, claw pieces right here. Uh -huh. Green up here at the top and some blue. And then also like the ghost dragon. He has little... Stop? He has little um, green chains. More green fangs. And then light green down here and his mouth can open. So he does this and he goes... He actually can move his top so it's like he's snarling. Does that. If you do if you do it too hard, it comes off. And so it can go and roar like a beast. Um, and I'm just gonna get up to here now. The soul archer is supposed to sit up here and hold on to the reins and go yeah yeah and you know yeah! and fly. Although you know he doesn't make that sound. Um. This is my favorite part. His wings look so nice. Oh, I just figured out that they could actually turn. You can turn that back wing. So you can do it in any position you want. And his the claws come out, as you see. I go shh. So when he's flying, he can come out like shh. Um, and, you know, green oh, claws at the end. Um. Light green with a dark blue, which I like how they use blue instead of like black or something like Adam's dragons, but it looks really nice. Some green up here, same thing over here. Then we get over here. I don't know what that part's for back there. Um, actually, I have no idea. But one day we'll figure it out. Probably never. And this tail can go in any position you want it to go. Do that. And his legs are like bionicle parts. They're like green with this, like just these little nice foot pads. And my favorite position to put him in is for like when I display him. In my case, if I do this, let me just get ready for you guys and I'll show you. I just think this looks cool. I try to make when I and the display I make it look like it's attacking the destiny bounty or, but the, no one's on, no one's writing it this is why I think looks coolest and now I'm gonna mess with that thing and now to destiny's bounty the main part of the set probably the reason why you guys are here to see the awesome destiny bounty and here it is um we'll start off with the top I like how it has this little mast coming out it goes up to this little dragon head, so I'll put it back. And it has these little eyes right there, and the mouth can go. Looks like it's shooting up fire. Nice stickers up there. And it has a golden sword piece and the um, sword of fire, the baton of fire. Um, Hulk, I'll just show you what the bottom of looks like for. Right here. So this part comes out and shoots, which I'm not going to do it because it'll just go flying everywhere, but you know, the little pew, it shoots out. Comes out. Um, there's a little mast, and then when we get to this, the coolest part. I have to lift it up a little bit. The little stand you see that comes out. Um, can I even show you? Hold on. Yeah, if you the man, go out to my normal house. Alright, so this. It's the cool part, so let me find the part. Okay, there we go. So when it, this is just when it's, you know, swimming in it, or going around the lake, just floating. And then when enemies come, when, like, the Moro ghost dragon spotted, it transforms. Transforming! And it flies, and then when it wants to go, when it, when it wants to go back, it goes down. Now we got this. Alright. So let's... So that's the cool part about the whole set. We're gonna go to the back. And this is the part when it comes out. Um, like the little wings come out, so... Not that. You don't want to pull the top or you have to pull the bottom. Let me just get this up so then I can show you. Alright. So there's little controls in here. I don't know why, but... It's little controls. Um, these are like the grappling hooks, so I'm gonna put it right there. Well, there's some like an ultra agent size that does like string and stuff. So should be cool with this. So then you just touch on the back. Uh, 
and they don't make that much noise since they're they have a little like rubber harpoon at the very back. So let me stick that back in. I can also turn 360 degrees. Uh, so now, let's see, where are we going to get to next? What, what do you think we should do? Uh, oh, yes, okay. So these little doors open. Well, I guess these doors don't really open that much. We can just do that. I'm going to leave that out because then these parts are cool looking. But I think, can we take this off? Hold on. I know you can take this off. This is where, this is, I'm going to show you some of this samurai shop, like a little shop. So let me get this out. And there's some stuff that fell in here, so be patient, guys. I know this video is already very long. Oh, I can take that off, that's good. Now it's easier. Alright, let me get out the little wrench, and then I'll get back. Alright, these are some extra weapons. So... This is her little station. So her bike is supposed to clip in. So you clip it on. And it comes together. Folds down. And it can be stuck up into here. But then the one that's ready for battle. Let's say she hasn't used it in a while. It's, you know, messed up looking. It's just, I don't know. But, so then it unfolds. So this really cool samurai symbol. Samurai stuff. Stickers. Um. New tools. Now, they aren't new molds. Well, this... No, that's not a new mold. This might be... Everything else... I think this actually might be a new mold, but, um... Let me get the Claudia. These are actually like a, like a silver. Sterling or... Star, I can't say it, but, you know, silver. Um... Looks cool, I think. I like how they added the silver. It just converts back. Um, here's her bike. Look at the bottom, little laser guns with these little clips at the end for like the engine. And then whoosh, goes back on the three other tools. And then while we're here, there's a little mouse chasing cheese and controls up here. So when they're flying it, of course. Um, and then let me put this back on. So first what you need to do, shut this. Check. Next, you fold it up. Gotta get these little. This is always the hard part. Well, it's not really a hard part, it's just because I'm going to put it back on. And once you stuck it back in, slide on in. And there you go. It's ready for the next mission. Um, and here's a little part to make it look cool. I guess gold clips. And the same thing that you saw on the other side. And now. Let's, oh, this part fell off. The mask came off. That's not good. There we go. Alright, um, we can get to here. I like how they actually use, instead of that, oh, oh, this gold. I don't know if you can see it on my video, but it's actually, like, looks really nice. Like a nice gold. For a lantern for a mini figure head. Transparent blue. Um, and then, oh, I was just saying this top part can move too, it looks like. Um, and so, a bucket of water over there, and one of Cole's weapons, and stuff, um, in the bucket, let's, let's see, um, what else am I, oh, right here, this is where, they're, this is like a secret area where they put in their stuff, it's a, there's a lock on it, opens up, a katana, or you can stick anything in it, and a crowbar, and right here, is a um what is it oh and the little mat like the little sail so what you do you push this down oh, that, like the symbol too Shh, looks like a shield kind of you hit this and it goes whoosh. and then when it goes into flying mode you convert it back that part always gets stuck there for me i don't know about you guys if you have this up but it's like a bird um i think that's mo everything for the actual destiny bounty. Um, as you saw, that little part comes out. So I'll lift it up again to show you. That part comes out. You can hold it up like that. Here's the last part. Um, 
here is just the Sensei Woo's tea um, making kit, this teacup, this teapot, and this little tea thing at the end, tea leaf. And then this has a little revolutionary soldier hat, a sword, a broom, and a lot of ammo. So thank you guys for watching this. If you, if you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And subscribe. Sh comment what you think about this video and share it. Um, tell your friends. Bye.